at Tate we work with a huge collection of paintings from all areas of history. Every painting has its own challenge for its future preservation. Our role is important within that. The Green Art Project is a three-year project um, developing green technologies for the use and conservation of art. It benefits our collection but also other collections because it's looking at fundamentally providing new materials which are green and more sustainable. So why do we invest in this? We invest in it because it is our cultural patrimony. It is forever. We invest in it also because it has massive educational capacity and we invest in it because what we learn here is relevant to so many other sectors too. Professor Balioni and his team create quite interesting innovative materials for conservation but we're particularly interested in the cleaning aspect of their research. It's a sort of breakthrough in conservation in many materials that we develop for this project. These materials and methodology are used in other projects, for example in regenerative medicine, they're using cosmetics, they're using household products. Our most challenging surfaces are often the modern contemporary because they're made with a, a myriad of materials that are unique to the materials and techniques used by that individual artist. For Tate's contribution to green art, we're focusing on paintings by Bridget Riley, who's a very famous British painter. It's very important to Tate and to our collection. Over a period of what is now six decades, these paintings become a little bit grimy. They have deposited soil. You can still see the works very, very well, but we know that the soiling layer is building up slowly and eventually that will affect the aesthetic of the painting. In the past, historically, we've used um, more hazardous substances which affect both health and safety and the environment and green art brings the opportunity to use more green materials. In a certain sense, this new method and new materials are intelligent. They are completely safe to conservators. Well, we're collaborating with 27 other global partners and that's really fantastic because it gives a richness of all the different experiences. Some of the work here was funded by the Arts and Humanities Research Council, but then the project went on to win funding from Europe. The UK government, with our colleagues in Europe, through UKRI, underpinned our success in those competitions with the Horizon Guarantee. So this kind of research project is hugely important because it allows us to take the time we need to really look at the problem, to really explore the avenues with the artists, also with the materials, also with the cleaning systems that are being produced. So on that level, this project is, I think, quite exemplary. At Tate, we have a legacy of conservatives and scientists working together. We're really privileged to be part of that giving our view of how these products can be used in practice on works of art.